Greetings over the diaspora to those that don't speak the languages that we speak but are still showing us some love. I was hoping to do this before Ramasedi popped out but Duara is out and is pumping the hydrogen and yeah there's a bit of commotion now and I was up early. I hate that I wake up early but I managed to be late somewhat. I don't know why. But regular greeting, welcome woke gang, anti-woke, chakra hand, stoners united, Togoza Goko gang, Makosini gang, those wanna be referred to in different manners, but healers in all your fraternities, light workers, knowledge seekers, knowledge collectors, perpetual students like myself, welcome, welcome black, queer and conscious, the conscious gang, the conscious debaters, those who are tired of us content and conscious people welcome as long as you're coming with love and light this is a beautiful and safe space for knowledge i guess and spirituality but welcome to another episode i did say that this month we're going to be obsessing over the principal yaruna noon so i just want to clarify a couple of things that um i got as questions in the intro episode yeah noon i was just welcoming everybody to the season but we're gonna delve into this principle even more all right because there's things that i spoke about that align us with the season what do we do in the season you know so i want uh there's somebody a royal person they asked in the questions yeah so i don't i don't know who it is because people use a what 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 right but i don't know who it is uh but they are of the energy house yeah nude so they would like me to well i sensed a bit of anxiety on their part and i don't want us getting this knowledge to be like an anxious experience it's a step by step so i've been doing this for what almost four years now but i've been exposed to this content i don't know over 10 years ago i don't know i can't remember but i did bump into the clip that sparked this consciousness so i was like oh my god i'm questioning my beliefs you know, I bumped into it recently. I'm like, ah, this is actually bittersweet. Yeah, and this was due to a friend of mine. I went to that other university there in the capital of South Africa with. Yeah, we're both studying engineering and then they introduced me to this concept. But by then, my, my third eye was not popping yet. I was still suffering from cognitive <laughs> dissonance, I guess. But yeah, so I have bumped into this content before, but I've been actively living and expressing this for, I'd say three, four years, going on to four years now. So, and it's a, it's a beautiful journey. It's a beautiful journey. And I don't want you being anxious. I don't want you feeling like you don't know enough or, oh my God, the confusion. It's a very, spirituality is quite confusing, especially because now you're meeting yourself. You know, you are encountering parts of yourself including those that run in your lineage you know the the dna that you carry the gifts that you carry the curses that you carry the you know it's the, the the mind openingness that you carry so don't let it be an anxious experience but please do ask you know so that i can provide better clarity or i can provide even plugs to what you yeah whatever like from books that you need to read or books that i recommend that you read or people to talk to or what content to tune into so that you get a bit of grounding so i don't want us being anxious remember the consort of newt is gap which is a grounding principle and yeah as much as newt give the sky goddess but you know as above so is below so we are just gonna speak about the principle of newt a lot in the season so the other question that i also got was um what do we fast off exactly you know because i i know i just yeah see i tried doing this a bit earlier before this whole commotion but yeah i don't know it's a i don't know it's a it's a root chakra thing that i need to work on clearly because yeah i'm 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 an early riser but i managed to be late somewhat and i didn't even put on any eyeliner or anything like that but yeah here i am and yeah just bear with me but yeah also Ms. 063 said i must stop apologizing yeah because content it will reach you when it is your time to receive it right yeah 
so anyway so um the other question so the fasting question was the okay i'm principal nude what do i do in the season and then the other one oh which is from myself guys get only colonize also alison correct you guys you know so remember i did say that i have a thousand thoughts at the same time and at times because i'm trying to get this in gather opportune time and whatnot i tend to stumble over my words and thoughts and whatnot so i'm gonna start with my one indigo indigo is not okay I, I, I was not a bit off but yeah i was a little bit off so it's a it's a purplish blue color so it's shades of i, I think i did share it now on the on the video that i put out yeah the intro i need so it's a purplish blue so this qualifies as indigo too so that is why i'm wearing this one and blue for the longest was my favorite color but i didn't know why because principalia gap is the brown color but also i did have a phase yeah it was stone sherry where i'm like but I'm, i am an earthy person but remember <clears throat> you're gonna look at your consort i do apologize for those that feel that i rob at their seasons but because we're still here right and this is perpetual and and an ending and continuous space of knowledge right so we're going to be learning a lot of things uh, because I did mention got the intro episode where okay I don't know what these things look like but then yeah I went and did my research again and I was like ah man I did bump into this when I was also learning about the principle of nudes when I was first you know and in this uh, in this um, content and then yeah so the um, and then I did share the list as well for the things that align us but let us get into um, the two questions first and then the first thing that i want us to to touch on god the principal yeah nude which is also in essence gonna ask answer the king or the queen or the royal person yeah that asked um born in the season or what do i do in the season so remember guys it is collective consciousness that we work that we are working with and nude give the universal it, it's also a universal energy somewhat all right remember we did say hurry this is the alpha and omega this is the beginning and the end but because life is continuous so newt gives us the principle of continuity even though there's a it's like a circle where is the beginning where is the end kind of thing so newt is a renewer a transformer so remember we did say beginning of the day births the sun and at the end of the day swallows the sun but then what happens the next day the sun is reborn again so this is this principle oh and then there's also Unkosigazi Zoe Butelezi who also commented that um yeah I just see myself dreaming of water a lot also a friend of mine who enjoys the true crime part of what we do here yeah I haven't asked her if it's okay if I mention her so I'll just refer to her as a friend of mine so she was also saying that oh my god I've just been so um like so drawn to like cleansing and wanting to go to the waters and whatnot and whatnot that is what this prevalent energy is about this is a purification energy this is a cleansing energy and remember the energy i think by cleanser kaminti so water 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 so as much as it is the sky and yeah i think the flat earthers will explain better as much as it is it is the sky but give me all right so remember those for those who did a science in my era i don't know what you people do nowadays the hello or what you call science i don't know what you guys call science now but in the colonial education system we the, remember the phases of water the gas the solids the liquids right? and then we did link newt to noon and then new we're also going to delve into Mary nature but there's a king of my no, king of my there's a, a brother of mine that I know, um, he does lessons on major nature. I just need to ask him for permission if I can share or plug his content. But yeah, he does lessons on major nature. Major nature is just the divine language, language of the gods. Yeah, language of the natives. Yeah, so this ancient, ancient language where the, as the Bantu speakers, yeah, I can only speak from that perspective for now because I'm not, yeah, I'm normalizing not having very strong opinions about stuff i'm not sure about yeah so i'd say from the bantu languages where we can trace our languages and our dialects and how we say certain things and the etymology of a word 
to this ancient language, this Kemetian language. And remember, we did say Kemet means land of the black. So do not be confused by um, the, the, the colonize, colonization of the Arabs, which are currently residing right now. Golifatin Lavo Coco. All right, so do not be confused by that and say, oh my God, this is not ours. This is ours. So anyway, so yes, yeah, so this Nut's principle Ritoki Kubara touch on did I answer okay I did answer the cleansing person I did answer why you be dreaming of water a lot and then or oh, the fast yes so Banzo Koko Bani she asked okay what do you what do you mean by fasting? So what we do and collectively because as much as it is a healing of self that we want, but we need a collective healing. You know, I think if you are conscious enough or yeah, by conscious I mean like you're present in your you know, it's in your what the fuckness is happening, I think maybe we should make a better effort of also wanting a collective healing for us as a people, for us the melanated people, the brown people the black people wanting the, that collective healing, you know, even though spirituality is universal, but the mother body is from us, the people, right? And everything, like, I think everybody who's asking, oh my God, why do you wear a bindi? Why do you wear this? I can always trace it back to African origins, you know, even though the word Africa is not the right, right one, but because it's so it's such a powerful, you know, the ka, the, and ka means spirit, but anyway, so I want us to, yeah, well, okay, that's the problem I'm telling you about where I have a thousand thoughts at once. But please do bear with me and I'm trying to speak a bit slower so that I also don't go over too many thoughts at the same time. So um, I shared the things that you can either put go your altars or your shrines or in your surroundings or things that you use to um, align yourself with the season, with this energy house. So let me deal on the people by nude <laughs> the characteristics of nude all right so you can also check so both check both pisces characteristics check both virgo characteristics so, so these people are very sensual beings and i think in the intro episode i did mention that principle level is augmentation which means an increase so they will wherever they are they they there's an abundance of something there's an increase of something all right so if they are not aligned hungry they will either be on the low vibrational stuff where they increase the low vibrational stuff but if they are aligning and you know it's seeking themselves and healing and adjusting their chakras and balancing their chakras so these would be people that are very spiritual very intuitive as well very um What's the word? Yes, I, I did mention people that work with fertility, f fertility, fertility, hey, but fertility and yeah, and remember guys, as much as uh, I think most of the subscribers uh, identify as male people, but uh, so, so yeah, so I'm glad that you guys are here and I want you guys to know that I'm just not referring to the, the feminine you know so this is open for everybody everybody we all have a root chakra we all have a solar plexus chakra we all have the 42 chakras that makes us complete remember 42 chakras we did um discuss it our ma'at season right so and i'm sorry for those but feeling like kiropilary seasons guys so we're still here we're gonna also delve into that so also be cognizant of the fact that some things will sound so familiar but oh my god but didn't you say this about my ad but these principles are interlinked and when once we're gonna speak of the creation story you'll see how everything fits what gave birth to what what links with what you know like and right now like an interesting one um <laughs> an interesting one that uh, i i don't want to share as yet but i'll just you know so loot loot is um fell in love with both thought which is a jehudi as well as okay which is their consort their perfect consort right so as much as a consort and actually let me yeah let me leave this part but yeah there's a lot of things that i'm learning out this principle but i want us now to 
uh just reiterate the things that align us with the season because there's one i also forgot i forgot to mention the animals so the animals remember we said that you check the characteristics of these animals and then you 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 link it to okay what is this saying about the season oh sorry guys a thousand thoughts at the same time so the fast that we do so we fasting now from the 23 which is yesterday the 23 up until the 23 uh, september all right and then uh what are we fasting off so we pr preferably go plant-based raw is super excellent but i think for 30 days that's gonna be a bit much but there's people who can actually do that so they go raw lifestyle wise they go raw three months at a go but try raw if not raw try plant-based if not plant-based try vegetarian but just stay away from yeah animals because remember also the animal the energy still remains in the animal yeah so try stay away from meat you know so because we are trying now um i'm avoiding stunya but i'll say stunya so we're trying to elevate our our god self we're trying to now rise we're trying now to be in high alignment we're trying now to what's the word clarity in our dreams to to be dreaming a lot to be receiving messages from a what i call the fifth element ether to be receiving the element from the cosmic to be receiving messages and communication from the cosmic remember newt give us sky a day so holds all the information yeah go it's back up again from the stars so astrologers and astronomers they they yeah they they, they definitely not definitely but yeah, uh, Newt Lerner covers the astronomy field. So people by, by Newt, some of them, they would find themselves gravitating towards that. Oh my God, or they're just naturally stargazers or whatever it is. So that is what we're fasting off. We're also fasting off from Inkonja Sebsugu. So Sekese, we off Sekese. And why that is, right? There's nothing wrong with Sekese. Absolutely nothing wrong with Sekese. But... I did mention how it is a creative force. It's a very, very, very powerful force. That is why with, yeah, let me say my people, yeah, the black people, a lot of us would find ourselves where but eh, what whatnot and whatnot, or they attack or spiritual attacks. For example, the portal eva ing, eva sekese, right? So so we need to be cognizant of there's absolutely it's a beautiful beautiful experience it's a beautiful energy exchange but also energy exchange so um there's also school of thoughts or people who are very invested in using karma retention yes to elevate so remember it also starts here at the spine and why i'm going to mention the spine as well because i want us to touch on the one principle you need today but do not despair guys we're gonna be doing a whole lot on newt and i just want to give every segment or everything that aligns with newt a chance or an episode you know? so today i'm going to deal with the animal part of it so um um what did i say so newt yes so so yes so so preserve that preserve that so that you can also remember we also elevating to we also elevating to empower ourselves these ideas these endless ideas and endless possibilities and endless desires that we want so this is like you get december boss kind of thing where we are now setting our intentions for the new year setting for okay action time this is what i want to happen in the new year now this is what i'm living this is what i've been hibernating on and this is it so right cupola now by fasting off get a you yeah not get a yeah do not be con not get a gas feed get a yep see you so stay off this stay off this stay off this stay yeah stay so try yeah so the goga is speaking to her yeah, or she's gonna struggle a bit but i can do, I, I can do it you know so i definitely know as well when it comes to um this season i know my sexual energy is very heightened you know but i retain that and already like i'm seeing hori you know at my dreams the 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 wild or there's, there's there's extra communication you know retain the that energy you know so even if uh you give yourself okay actually eric sale advice i've been totally wrong yeah so try try stay off bats try stay off um animal products be plant-based so that increase vibration so that does increase your vibration and there's 
yeah the medical people are very confused no offense guys no, no offense maria ning ning the advice this ning ning the advice that but from personal experience everything that has been plant-based for me like i operate better i vibrate better i run better i ran the so we to marathon last year because i was plant-based i was off a lot of toxins i was you know niseki elevated and it came after the new season and 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 and, and. but yes i digress commanders and light workers yeah so uh, so th those are the things that we fast off from and then we eat before sun rise and then we eat after sunset but for consistency what we used to do collectively uh we used to start 6 a.m yeah even though the sun maybe now rises yeah well now because the hydrogen is pumping sunrise is becoming earlier now but how uh, got this hibernation period in uh, the sun would rise much later but for consistency we would collectively pass up so call on all the principles call on the principles or principles of creation we collectively pass at 6 a.m collectively pass when we're breaking the fast now at 6 p.m so we can do that in spirit so i definitely know i'll be doing that so you can join me we can do it collectively in spirit you can ask for yo go go kick up our or ing. we can create a group if you guys want to do that for discipline sake or having an accountability partner but yeah so before your fast or pray or pray or whatever it is you're doing or do your affirmations whatever spiritual thing that elevates you do that and then when you break fast do that so it's not a concept yeah uh, my muslim or any because remember like i said these religions they're baby they're baby religions you know and we don't refer to kemetic spirituality as a religion even though some elements because there's like rituals there's this is this is that but it's um yeah we'll get into that one some other day but yeah so the so it, it's not a muslim thing before sunrise before sunset but also check libon and the symbols that they use so africa motherboard you guys everything comes from god god but anyway <laughs> controversial event so um yeah i think i did answer everybody yeah the water dreams will definitely be doing water because the 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 rituals that nudes or how nudes operates water so they're very inclined to water as well so let me speak of the three nudes that i know so the love water the love swimming gogo wa the plural marriages my sister tolo she um yeah when it rains and uh, she even goes in the nude and she lets it rain on her you know my person my personal person she loves swimming you know she loves as going to the ocean she you know so also remember because of the misalignment they are pisces people so i grew growing up when I, even on the winter rest of the winter rest day if there's a swimming pool and i'm visiting there i'd want to swim you know so yeah so they're very water people healing people coming the fertility yes oh so why are we going into the fertility so the animals okay i'm just gonna go through the list of the things that align us with nudes for those who haven't gotten their stuff so indigo so indigo can be in how you adorn yourself or your candles if you are a prayer with candle kind of person uh, the incense is an what was the incense uh, storex storex is so i'm also going to unpack storex in another episode and then the center thing is an amber chris or amber amber yeah i don't know how they pronounce it but amber grace how i spell it yeah and then um the so i spoke the color the incense the 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 metal i forgot to mention the metal the other day so it's aluminium and we're also going to cover the spiritual aspects of aluminium so the process get yourself the these bracelets you know yeah it's uh, aluminium um align with that so there's a lot of things that that are that are in metal or in 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 the periodic table that we're not cognizant of you know where we're going to touch on it for a man let's actually pump a hydrogen so we're going to touch on that so it's aluminium the metal yeah this that's the one i forgot the tree is psychamo so fake psychamo fake tree fake fig yeah so that is a psychamo or the mother body of a psychamo we're going to touch why psychamo is aligned to nude as well and then um what else did i forget the animals yes animals which is what i want to focus on today the animals 
snake or serpent yeah i'll tell you more about my psychedelic trip when i'm speaking of ser serpents the frog and the eel so these animals all of them right besides they are so animal i feel animals are highly intelligent beings that rama said mama said and creation gave us you know all the energies all matters gave us so when you see when you think of an eel so this is uh now the conversation that oh baby no coco plural marriage were having because yeah they're nude people yeah they're also quite obsessed with themselves yeah <laughs> they are but granted they're amazing people they're really amazing people and yeah and they heal in different ways so go go with plural marriages like i did mention in the episode i think it's the episode that we're dropping today we yeah so her healing so she's a it's a talker she's a relationship coach or relationship men that she's getting more relationship so a lot of new people you would find yourself in healing spaces and yeah healing alone yeah focus a lot more on water you know even when you go for your cleanses so what some of us i know as much as i'm water and water is such a great element a great great element and uh, i feel an element a uh, encompassing all the other elements and I feel it's just bigger than any my lawyer or any whatever um yeah but some of us would be more i don't know spiritually attuned to mountains or caves or whatever but yeah new people focus more on yeah spiritual the the, the element of yeah, water for lona so um what was i mentioning yeah so the eel so the eel is very so eel frog serpent commonality abona fertility in spirituality it's linked to fertility it's linked to um what's this a renewal it's linked to rebirth so all these three animals but the eel is very interesting as well because the eel and because we are stoned queer and yeah we're gonna talk queer stuff as well so the eel okay i'm not i'm, I'm not saying that the eel is queer but yeah but the eel um before taking form is actually a hermaphrodite remember that derogatory word that they referred to that other human who shares my name the runner girl yes but yeah we don't refer to humans as hermaphrodites but in the animal kingdom we call it hermaphrodites where you need a male you need a female you know but um yeah so i do know a lot of people by the season i, I know a lot of heterosexual people but i also know a lot of people who are not of the binary spectrum as we know it you know and who are of nude season so they're very sensual people and eel is also linked to sensuality and sexuality so these people they they yeah they are they are flirts you know they flirt they they, they like relationship a lot you know they're very um what's the word yeah so so yeah they they yeah so yeah hang on to that one so yeah they're very essential people they're very um they they, they can create from sake set as well remember i did say that it is a sick yeah so it's a it's a creation it's a creation energy which i know from myself um how can manifest using that you know yeah but i want to speak about myself too much mm -mm. but anyway I can mind you judge you are. Yeah. So also the people by the season are very um keep on bonnie, you know, they like being seen, they like dressing well, they like, you know, it's in total order, they like having when when something they, they never like things hanging. They like finishing stuff. They never start things to not finish. So if you're a bit misaligned to that, you have the authority and the advantage of you tapping into this energy that's intrinsically in you or that resonates higher in you where you are a project finisher so like gogo gogo kamere gogo plural relationship she's a kick-ass businesswoman you know she went she literally went from corporate into the business world and she's been flying ever since you know like imagine your but i'm gonna have her also for the hashtag black economy black around black what do I segment that we do are we giving shout outs to black business people and their products and stuff because we really need to to speak economy you know if we wanna go somewhere yeah but I'm gonna cover that because today I'm less angry I'm gonna cover that on an episode yeah so anyway yeah so yeah so take the eel and you know how slithery it is and yeah so 
Give, 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 give that principle, but also be responsible in how you use your sensuality, you know. Yeah, some people, some of you new people, you have flirted yourself into relationships and not know how, you know. And I'm speaking to new people, but I'm speaking to the gay people as well. So Pisces, Virgos, I'm addressing you guys here because you guys share the same energy or this energy resonates higher with you guys you know so Pisces people Virgo people you guys are flirts you know but yes you have the advantage of creation and with nude people or what we call Virgos which actually Pisces you guys you are creatives in that the things that you do they come to fruition remember gestation gestation in the process of incubation up until the birth of a baby you know whatever baby it is you know and then um what else did i discover that's interesting i mean yeah but regarding the animals um gonna yeah just leave it on that the snake as well remember that other guy where i'm struggling to love the artist but hate what love the art but hate the artist yeah that other one in the u.s thing yeah who i liked his songs even when i was yeah, anyway, this is not about me. But yeah, well, move your body like a snake. What is that linked to? Like the whole sensuality thing, you know. Fertility, why are you moving your body like a snake? Fertility, um, and then the frog as well, spiritually, spiritually wise, and yeah, like us shamans as well, frogs, you know, besides the magic frogs, us shamans, us healers in your spaces, okay. When I see frogs, when I dream of frogs, you know, and remember, and all these animals, Kitsako Meti, which brings it back to again the principle Yanut Nu from Medunecha, which is the Medunecha of water. Nut, Nu, Nun. So these are water animals. And um, what else am I not touching on? Yeah, so I think, I hope I did clear a couple of things, ne? And yeah, those who wanna collectively, you know, at partner with me or yeah, I, I I don't yeah. Prayer for me is different nowadays, but if that is still something that grounds you, still something that elevates you and you're able to connect with the cosmos, please do do that. And then also meditation, guys. I think at the core of everything else, at the core of all spirituality, learn how to meditate. You know, that is the one plug you can do for yourself, you know, like I'm on a higher right now because yeah, I did today. I did like candle meditation where you just look at a flame for maybe like, or like time away now, you know, look at a flame or practice the breathing thing. You know, there's literally a book called the book of breathing in, um, yeah, in ancient texts and whatnot, but that's how important breathing is. And, but do not also, don't be impatient with yourself, you know. Later on, it took us a long time to get here, where I don't even need cannabis at times to elevate, to be at a high. Yeah, I was told this by this gentleman who was, like, reading my chakras. Um, about it, no, the cannabis, which I will do. But, yeah, maybe one day, but I doubt I highly doubt. <laughs> yeah, but tap into meditation to be able to elevate. So, remember, it is a time to be intuitive and work on our inner versatile like carrying on from my aunt and then yeah i think i did cover what i wanted to cover today i hope if i did not answer you please do ask me as well in this episode if i did not answer what you had asked or if you're still confused and want me to elaborate even more but yes at the core of it it's a know thyself and to thyself be true i also have a friend she did offer so i don't know i'm gonna still hold her accountable she did offer to so she does the life path number and i also know a healer who was also very instrumental in my journey she's a numerologist um yeah so she knows how to deal with numbers so my friend she deals with, like your life path and whatnot where your this planet sits this planet sits give anessa she's currently in zim she's from zim she's currently in zim but yeah, she said she's willing, but yeah, if like a guys, you know, so yeah, let's let's practice gratitude, pay it forward, you know, and yeah, just say thanks. Sometimes, yeah, some people do just um do things because they are they are inclined to that. But for me, I just like pract practicing gratitude, not for the specific person, but but just to say ta to their underground gang or their guys or whatever it is, you know. Um, but yeah, she hasn't said if she does this for charging or ink but 
yeah if you guys are really really interested hit me up i can hit her up to help you with that okay how do i align with myself but at the core it is a know thyself and to thyself be true so i hope it does make sense i hope you have a little bit of light on what or who who you are as a nude person or what you're aligned to and yeah so so v deals with also the possible careers but yeah for me in healing spaces yeah focus yeah maybe you're an air you're a water bender you don't even know you know so yeah happy today Anka and my art i hope i did cover everything um there's something i wanted to say as a color indigo yes oh also oh besides that but yes the color of the sky that is why but also it's the interesting transition from my art which was a what's this was a was it a lavender but purplish color and then now we're going towards the blues and yeah oh yeah so that is what i have for today and we're gonna deal with more principles or more things that align us with this principle yeah goddess nude hosikadi nude mo peti hati or mo peta hati or um peti gasi all right so gozani love and light i'm getting my eyes happy today to everybody